Now after the image, let's quickly start adding our text fields. So first of all, we will add some space or maybe a divider will looks good. That is a horizontal line. So we can say const divider widget. The color for this will be colors dot white white 70 and the thickness for this will be 2 let me just hot reload and see what we get you can see that then after it you will have the name for example the seller name that is which person is basically uploading a new item as you know the whole purpose of this course is the augmented reality feature and how we can remove the first of all how we can remove the background from an image then we upload it to the database and then display that image with the help of augmented reality so the seller name we save uh, with the image to the database just to uh, show it on the user interface on the home screen and i have already told you guys that is if you guys want to make a fully functional e-commerce application then please join our amazon clone app flutter amazon clone app or you can also join our uh, flutter food panda clone app it is totally up to you okay so anyways we can say list tile and to this at the leading we will add an icon so we can say icon and the icon will be icons dot person pin rounded comma color will be of course white title size box width will be 250 child text field first of all the color will be colors dot gray that is the input text color then controller for this text field that is when user type in this text field so that text we have we have to control with the help of our controller so for that purpose we have to initialize here the controllers so what we can do is here i can simply say text editing controller and let's give this name as seller name text editing controllers equals to text editing controller similarly for the other ones other text field which you will create initialize it for the seller phone item name item description and item price as well so now what we need to do is here we can simply say as you know this one is for seller name so we can say seller name text editing controller decoration input decoration hint text will be seller name let's apply some style on hint so it will be only the color we want to change and that will be color stored gray and we do not want any border so we can say border input border dot none now after the list style we will have a divider so let me just copy paste this here and after the list style that is with the seller name list style we can simply add it here but here the thickness will be one so now if i hot reload let's see the result how it looks as you can see seller name 
So now just like we add the list style or you can say a list style with a text field. Just like we did it for the seller name in the same way we can do it for the other ones. For example now let's just quickly copy paste these okay. Alongside with the divider we have seller name after the seller name let's just keep adding that for the seller phone seller name seller phone then after the seller phone we have item name and then after the item name we have item description and then at the last we have item price that is one two three four five in total we will have five text fields so after the seller name the seller phone so we can say first of all make sure to change the controller for it which is the important thing so we can say seller phone text rating controller and we can say seller phone and also the uh, icon phone underscore iphone underscore rounded then for the after it we have the item name so first of all here we have to say item name the hint text and make sure to change the controller for it this one is item name text editing controller then the icon for it the icon will be icons dot title after the item name we have item description so we can say item description make sure to change the controller for it it is item description text editing controller and of course the icon it will be icons dot description then after the item description comes the price so we can say index item price item price text editing controller and then the icon and the icon will be icons dot price underscore change so let's test the application to check our user interface so here you can see this is our upload form which you can see need an icon button here at the right side of the app bar which will be for uploading the information to the database so for that purpose in here in our this upload form in the app bar in the app bar remember leading means when you want to add something to the left side of the app bar so we do that inside the leading and when we want to add something to the right side of the app bar then for that purpose we use actions so after leading we can say actions and we can add icon button on the on pressed we will of course start the uploading that we will do in the upcoming videos for now let's display that icon so the icon will be icons dot cloud underscore upload the color for this will be colors dot white and let's add a const modifier with it so let's just test the app how it looks so you can see that so we have now completed our upload form screen let's apply some padding on our this icon button so click here before this i icon button i and then click this yellow bulb wrap with padding and from all sides we want it to have four 